Now today in this video guys, I'm actually going to be showing you guys the best fish drop settings that you guys should be using for the maximum performance possible so you guys can get the maximum increase in FPS, okay? Now you guys will also get a low ping delay in this, okay? Maybe get some low latency, we will see. But you know what? Let's just get right into the video. Alright, now before I even get into anything further, okay? I have the actual fish trap fast flag method in my Discord server if you guys want it right here. I just show how to use like the fast flags or whatever with it. Now this was on November 18th, so if this does not work for you currently, might be patched still all right so the link in the description is going to take you guys to the fish trap download okay now before we even download it i need to say be careful while using this bro because there's a huge entire bandwidth going on for roblox getting their client modified and anything and as you guys can even see here attempting to bypass these subscriptions will get you banned from roblox do not ask for bypasses okay so guys you guys have a huge risk of getting your account banned just hoping that you guys know that so if you guys get banned it was not me next thing we're gonna do we're gonna click fish trap download okay we're gonna download our fish shop now that we're in here okay let's full screen this real quick we'll download fish shop it should open up like this just click okay and just click install and then instead of just going to completion go to configure fish shop settings okay so we're gonna go over to fast flex okay when you guys go to fast flex we're gonna see our old fast flex editor allow fish shop to manage fast flex and all this okay but we're gonna go down here to mesh detail okay when you guys go to mesh detail now what we need to do we're going to put the lowest quality okay now this has has a problem here as it already says lower quantity just means that meshes might disappear now this is good for high in-game performance but at the same time it might mess up your visuals a little bit if you're down for that now after we go that we're gonna go to rendering and graphics anti and quality we're gonna put this bad boy to one times okay we're gonna make our game look sharp and not like so smooth and glossy and everything now preserve rendering quality with this display scaling okay now this basically just means if you guys change your resolution or anything like to like 800 times 600 or just stretch rise it will not mess up with the rendering quality okay it won't look too bad it won't look ugly how it does reduces your quality you guys make sure that it's on rm quality override okay now i always just choose the lowest quality with this if you guys don't want to go for the lowest i think like the max you should go is like four but then rendering mode okay now we have options here okay we got vulcan open gl or direct 3d 11 now direct 3d 11 is just the best because it's just the newest i prefer direct 3d 10 but that's on the block shot honestly it's not bad you guys could also just try out all of them benchmark them and see how it works out best for you and then for here we have our texture quality now this is where you guys actually get the most fps possible and you know, your just whole entire system bro literally makes the game look so bad bro and it just gives you the maximum performance possible that's why i actually like it a lot but at the same time it does kind of make the game look a little choppy like as you guys even see here like in this whole entire video like this is what texture quality makes it look like this is the results that you guys are going to get for using this okay and uh, for people wondering if there's any other fish trap settings okay now if you guys go to the mods folder you guys can just have your presets you guys can have your custom fonts or anything there's actually another way that i gotta show you guys and it's actually global settings how do we get to the global settings so what we're gonna do is just open up your roblox okay i'll just open up my roblox player probably gonna get banned right now okay i just open up my roblox i'm gonna reset it one sec. all right so now the option is showing okay so you need to open up your roblox and then you guys need to open up your fish trap so okay when you guys open this up this is basically just your in-game settings from the fish shop menu nothing crazy you can set this as read only so it does not override your global settings or change anything crazy so as we have here is the default graphics quality so if i want to join a game right now but i don't want to be on maximum quality i can literally just join up a game and i'll be good frame limit kind of works the same way now going over the 240 cap is not recommended because you can get banned now just for doing a lot the transparency i like this part because it's a user face and layout you can actually use full transparency effects on your roblox hud it's kind of cool reduce motion we already have that setting on the in game i think you guys actually know that it kind of removes the animations and then this is just your mouse sensitivity and vr enabled you don't turn that off and okay, no, make sure that's not on but reduce motion because make sure that's on that's actually gonna wrap up today's video now okay i hope you guys actually got the best fish trap settings possible out of your performance okay now you know we would always use fish trap for a long time fish trap always had an off and on problem okay it is still bannable so please make sure that you guys are being careful when you're using it. There's so many features with Fish Shop that you can use over Block Shop. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.